Now when you hear the word meditation, what comes to mind? Do you perhaps think of the Maharishis in India, dressed in orange, sitting around the river Ganges and meditating? Or do you think of the Shaolin monks of China? You see, often when people hear or think of meditation, they think of the practice of emptying one's mind to a complete state of nothingness. But that's not what the Bible tells us. In fact, when the Bible speaks of meditation, it says to not to empty our minds, but to fill our minds with the truth of God's Word. As Psalm 119 and verse 15, it says, I will meditate on your precepts. Now, the benefits of meditation are huge on our mental health and well-being. In fact, psychologists tell us that if we were to meditate for 10 to 15 minutes per day over the course of three weeks, then we will see an increase and an improvement in our attention span as well as our self-control. And if we were to persevere over the course of three months, then, we will, then, then uh, studies have shown that that part of the brain which causes us to be anxious and depressed reduces and shrinks considerably. And so, it's a no-brainer really to meditate. Therefore, the million-dollar question is, how? How do we meditate? Well, let me just share a couple of the things that I often try to incorporate into my daily routine. For instance, I will take a well-known verse like Psalm 46 and verse 10, which says, Be still and know that I am God. And I will meditate on it in the following. I will sit upright and as I inhale, I will say to myself, be still. And as I exhale, I will say and know I am God. You see, as I do that, I'll do it a couple of times. And as I do, what I'm basically doing is just making room and making space for God to come and meet with me and to speak to me. Another verse that I often use regularly is Isaiah 41 and verse 10. It's a wonderful promise. It's where God speaking says, Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. I will help you. And I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. As I said, a precious promise. And so... As I meditate on that, it's as if God is saying, Rana, fear not, I'm with you. I will strengthen you, I will help you, and I will uphold you. Amen. And so, I want to encourage you. Why not just take one of these precious promises uh, from the Scriptures and just begin to meditate on it during the course of the week ahead. And as you do, just be still and know He is God. God bless you and have a great week.